Brian McCarthy, manager of St. Moctis, um, I suppose that uh, you were made work hard for that, I suppose, in the end. Yeah, I thought we were really good in the first half. In fairness, look, not going to come out the crumb and have it all your own way. So I wasn't, ex I was expecting a bit of a onslaught at two 0 Do you know what I mean? Next game, our next goal was crucial. If they get it earlier, there's something to play for. So, um, yeah, I didn't think it was going to be easy. And look, as I said, we were very good in the first half, and we had to dig in a bit and uh, get the grips. So I think the sending off, two sending offs, probably hit us a bit harder for some reason than it really hit them. So they seemed to get the grips a bit better in the second half. But uh, overall, we were good chances and um, yeah, to look into the next round, so delighted. And the two early goals obviously pivotal to, I suppose, how the rest of the half and I suppose the start of the, the second half went in terms of control overall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was good to get two in their lead. Some people say it's the worst lead you can have because if they get one back, then you're a bit nervous. But no, listen, uh, you got the two goals. I thought we really good pressing them high. Um, if they like to play it, good side. So. Um, yeah, we've done well first half, got our two goals and then as I said we were always going like, they were always had to come out and play and we expected that. So we just had to sort of to sit back in and ride it a bit, probably sat a bit too deep rather than trying to get up and press. But I think maybe the last fifteen minutes we've probably seen the game out and all they scored in the last but I think we've seen the game out fairly well. So in terms of the red cards, do you think it changed the complexion, I suppose, of the game? Yeah, I think so. I think as I said, I think they adapted to ten men probably a bit better than we adapted to it. So um yeah, it changed the game. It changed the game for both teams. But I think they did adapt in fairness for the like, first 20 minutes of the second half a lot better. Like, you know, so um, yeah, look, look, that's football. And anyway, it's just um, these things happen. So we just, yeah, just move on. And as I said, as I said, I was delighted with the attitude. It's, it's what, you know, very warm out there as well. And we've done a lot of high pressing in the first half, which takes a lot of effort and takes a lot of work rate to do. Which we can't. It's only our fourth game back. So when we pressed high, we had to. Uh, it does take a lot of effort out of the lads. But like we've seen our game out. So. I think it's the last 16 now, isn't it? So. And then in terms of your, I suppose, reign as, as manager of this club, it's gone from progression to progression in terms of leagues. You've won the, the Intermediate Cup finally last year into the third round of the FAI Cup this year. I mean, like, what's, what's that doing for confidence? It's, it's great, yeah. Look, you just we want to go as far in every competition as you can. Like, you know, people say like it's, it's a free hit in the FAI because, you know, likelihood of a, a non-league team winning it. Um, we don't think like that. I just want to win every game I play, and sorry, I want the lads to win every game they play, and uh, that's the way we grow. And depending who we get or who we get, um, just want to go and literally we give it a best shot. So um, yeah, I'm full of confidence in the lads. We're good side. We're only getting better. We will get better. And um, we've played four, we've won four, and I think we will get better as a team. A um, few knocks today, but that's going to be part and parcel of coming. Been away for ten months, so yeah, um, I think we're only going to get better. So look. We're getting there. <laughs> well done, Brian. Thanks, Mel. Good to see you, man. Cheers. Thank you.